The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewer, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I'm your host Eunice Mugo. Today on the show we are talking about coping with infertility in marriages. Are you facing infertility in your marriage? What are the struggles? What are the challenges? What are the issues? Have you consulted a doctor? What is the way forward? Send in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is to the Buan number four. I'm not alone. I have guests with me who are going to help us to understand better about how to cope with infertility in marriages. I will allow them to introduce themselves. Welcome guests. Starting with you, madam. Morning, viewers. My name is Wanjiru Kiyama. I'm a married coach, and I love the Lord. Thank you so much, Mr. Wanjiru. To you, Mr. Good morning, everyone. My name is Benjamin. I'm a specialist in mind education, and I also do counseling. Welcome on the show, guests. Thank you. Um, to start with, infertility in <coughs> marriages. It's a um, rising issue. It has been there before, and uh, it's growing uh, due to the change in lifestyle in terms of eating, in terms of condition, in terms of name. A lot of things are affecting and making couples to be infertile in marriages. And it's causing conflicts, not only between the couples, but also the families at large, because the husband will blame the wife, the wife will blame the husband, and the in-laws blaming each other. To start with, simply, why infertility? And uh, how is it important to talk about it in this day and age? Madam it's Madam. very important to talk about infertility. Mm -hmm. because today there are very, very many, many causes mm -hmm. of infertility. Mm -hmm. And that is why it is very important for a couple to visit a gynecologist, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. and then they are able to know who is who. Because in many cases, mm -hmm. when you don't see a baby mm -hmm. and you are the extended family, you all look at the woman, and maybe the man is the cause. Mm -hmm. But when they visit a, 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 a doctor or a, a gynecologist, mm -hmm. they will be told the problem and they will solve it even before mm -hmm. the extended family comes in. Mm -hmm. So silence mm -hmm. is the one that worsens it. Ah. Yeah. Um, in this case, when you say you, they should visit a gynecologist, mm. um, as a counselor, when uh, couples come to you with such a case, mm. Are the men more open to going to the doctor to get to find out if they are the one who have an issue? Because a lady will automatically go because for a lady when you're married, it's often advised to visit a gynecologist every now and then. Given that also if you're preparing to get pregnant, are the men open to the idea? Once or they were not. Mm -hmm. But I'm surprised that today, mm -hmm. Even men come for counseling. Interesting. Yeah, and it is very encouraging mm -hmm. because like the case I have present is mm -hmm. the man who came first. Mm -hmm. and then he referred the wife. Mm -hmm. So uh, even in infertility, mm -hmm. today they are opening up. Mm -hmm. The men are opening up and they are ready mm -hmm. because so many things have happened. Uh, divorce has come in and it was maybe not even a case of divorce. It is something that would be rectified by the doctor mm -hmm. and then they get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is interesting. Coming to you, Mr. Benjamin, what is uh, your opinion on the same as a male in this conversation, putting you there in the spotlight to talk on behalf of other men? As a counselor, if a couple comes to you with infertility issues, um, a man blaming a woman, a woman blaming, blaming the husband. Are the men open to the idea of going for the checkup? Are they open to the idea of going for the counseling and uh, getting help? Um, when we talk about infertility, there is something that we have to think about here. 
and one of them, uh, it's not that infertility started now. Because one of the biggest problems that we have is now people are talking of nowadays, things are like this. Nowadays, things are happening like this. But for me, what I know, uh, biblically, all the things that are happening to our lives, they all originate from the heart. And as I always say, actually in the many shows that I've spoken here, I always speak about one thing. Uh, when you look in the Bible, there is Solomon. And Solomon was one of the most wise people. And then he once said like this, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Mm -hmm. Why are these people fighting? Why is it that they cannot accept themselves? Number one, it is simply because they do not understand who they are. So because of that, you know, once, once I went to Korea and then there was one uh, lecturer who was giving us lecture about mind education, and then he spoke about something which was very key. You know, <clears throat> he said like this, when, when, like for example, you're working in the kitchen, and then the tap has spoiled. Do you make yourself so busy to repair that tap? Or do you go to the main source and close it from there? Many people, they try to work on the tap that is spoiled. But the people who are wise, they go back to the main source. And then they close it from there. So in our lives, we only tackle issues that come immediately. And then we have that first level of thought. We have the second level of thought. And then we have the third level of thought. So we encounter issues and problems as per the first level of thought. Yes, why do you have to think about your wife being infertile? And yet, you don't think about yourself being that way. It's simply because people have become selfish and isolated. That's why they only think about themselves. I cannot be like this. And then you don't expect when I go to my people, my people to say that I'm the one who is infertile. They will always come to my side and then they start talking about my wife. And it is also the same way, if we go to my wife's side, you don't expect them to start talking about their daughter, saying that she's the one who is having the issue of infertility. Mm -hmm. They will talk about me. Mm -hmm. Why? Because people became selfish. People became isolated. People, became, people only think about themselves. And they always want to think about themselves on the good side, not on the bad side. But wise people, what is true wisdom? Mm -hmm. True wisdom is to know your shortcomings. You have to understand also, it might be yourself. Mm -hmm. So why would men not want to go there? Mm -hmm. It is simply because they don't know themselves. Mm -hmm. This is number one. Mm -hmm. They are not ready to accept their shortcomings. Mm -hmm. They want to be, you know, of course it's the nature of man. Mm -hmm. You always want to be on the best side. Everybody wants to be on the best side. That's why even when the issue comes and then you, re you realize that you are the one who is infertile, do you think people get that courage? They become so heartbroken. Why? Simply because they think. And then, you know, you know my partner spoke about she loves God. I think she's also a pastor. You know, when you hear somebody saying that I love God, it means that he's a pastor. Mm -hmm. People don't want to talk about themselves in the spiritual world. They want to talk about themselves in this world that we are living today. And that's why for them to accept things that are happening to them, it's not easy. Is it not because we do not see the spirit world, we only see the physical world? That is why a lot of people get to immerse themselves in the physical rather than the spiritual that cannot be seen. Very true. Why? I can Thank ask you. you a question. <laughs> you like, okay. I can ask you a question. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen the wind? Yes, I have ever felt the wind. Having listened to Mr. Benjamin about now, uh, as mentioned, in-laws cannot see the bad side of their child. They only see the other person. Now, I have known I'm infertile, or I have known my husband is infertile. We've been married. 
You have also have cases where people have been together for 10 years, they could not tire a baby. After the 10th year, the 15th year, they get a baby. What is the science in between there, whereby for these 10 years, nothing the doctors could do, nothing could change, and then later on, I get to have a baby. What has changed? What has transformed? Is it now here we say about the spiritual world, the, the spiritual world where a miracle happened, or is it something that I don't know how to explain it? Help me to understand. Most that. of the people I know that got children after 10, mm -hmm. after 12, Tiniamaji, Wamekua Wakienda who seek help. Like I know a friend who left now was through with Kenyan doctors and went, to, went with the husband to India. And when they came back, she conceived. I think the, the, there should be a lot of patience between the two, not minding the outside, because like me, I'm a mother-in-law now. And of course, when my son gets married, I'll start looking at the lady coming in on a sum. <laughs> Signs and symptoms. <laughs> Some symptoms. <laughs> because I want to be named. Uh -huh. And this is what is disturbing in laws. Uh -huh. And instead of being patient and praying with them, maybe they, they start making noise. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they should give them time. The outside, that is the extended family, should wait. Because some people today, our kids, they are, they are agreeing. We are going to stay for five years exactly. doing our things, then yes. we get a baby. And here the mother-in-law is making noise. The mother of the girl is also asking the girl, what's wrong with you? I think we should stop pressurizing the couples, we as the parents, mm -hmm. so that even when they are infertile, mm -hmm. they will seek help mm -hmm. with ease, mm -hmm. bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, maybe to come back on you on the mm. same, as mm. a mother-in-law now that you've mentioned, mm. and uh, you've rightfully said that couples do agree to stay for some time without having a baby, just taking their times to build mm. in their relationship, in the marriage, mm. and also before welcoming a baby because it also needs an extra financial mm -hmm. muscle. Mm. In this case, as an in-law, mm. how open are the parents to now, if I'm the daughter or the son comes to you and tell you, mom, we are not ready. It's nothing that it's wrong with us. We are just not ready. As an in-law, what is the first, um, first reaction that will come to you so that you'll maybe, um, do you embrace or do you reject? How is it with the in-laws? In Usually matters? the fathers are not very concerned. The mothers are the ones who are putting pressure on these people. And uh, I think mothers mm -hmm. should also be patient because mm. uh, we are the same parents who are forcing these children to do very big weddings. Mm -hmm. And when they do very big weddings, some even borrow money. Mm. So they can agree and say, watch a tukai mea kamitano to lipe easy loans, easy to the in car, to fanya ivi, then we get a baby. A baby. Mm -hmm. Then you go to tell your mother that. Mm -hmm. But she won't listen. So I always, when I'm speaking to women, because I have forums with women, mm -hmm. I tell them to be patient with the young people mm -hmm. because they don't think like us. Mm -hmm. Some of us, like me, I always say, uh, on my wedding day, my daughter was one month. So I had a baby already. Some of us got pregnant early, others walifanya harusi those days wakiwa pregnant. Mm. These people, I think, I call them more organized. Mm. And they want to prepare for that family, mm -hmm. put a budget. Mm -hmm. But ikifika miakatano, the mother is already annoyed. Kwani nitazali walini? Kwani munataka aje? So uh, sometimes we say it is infertility and it is not. Mm. It is a mutual agreement between the young man mm -hmm. and the woman. Mm -hmm. But okay, when it comes to now again infertility, mm -hmm. and most of us, today 80% mm -hmm. of the people are Christians mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. 
So we know that God can do miracles. Yeah. Instead of praying with those children and asking children, uh, God to give them a child, we are making noise. We are not even waiting for God in mm -hmm. the spiritual realm now. Mm -hmm. And I think it can work. We are the people who read and see how Zachariah was very close to Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And people are okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Abraham and Sarah were okay mm -hmm. until the angels came and announced there will be a son. I don't think there was any pressure for them. But today, I know a couple whereby <coughs> even the mother-in-law has started looking for another girl. Yes. Why should you go to such a level? That is what I'm wondering. And we are all Christians. We are saved. I have a question before we go on a break. As a mother-in-law, your son today is married. And now you're helping your son to get another wife because they have gone into maybe an agreement, I would assume so, or maybe the infertility that you are talking about and they're not having a baby. Mm -hmm. Going forward to look for another lady for your son to marry. My question is, as a mother-in-law, if it was your daughter in the same shoe, would you prefer the mother of the man to look also for another lady to replace your daughter? But I don't think they think of that. They are so, uh, some of these women are so selfish that they don't think of anything else apart from kuzaliwa. Na kama hanizai, ni tatafuta yule hataniza. And this, okay, then I can conclude by saying this as we go for a break. Mm -hmm. It's, I can now point a finger to in-laws. They are the people who are making their sons and their daughters to maybe go cheating in their marriages? Me, yeah, I think so. Because they, they are entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll take a short break. As we come back to you, Mr. Benjamin, I'd like to get your perspective on the same from the male part of it. What is your take on that? Viewer, I hope you're learning as much as I am. Send in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2144. We'll be back shortly.